Thanks, Matthew. John Kieran here with the uh, manager, Jim Gannon, at the end of uh, a 2-0 defeat. Jimmy, first defeat in 13 games in the National League North. But what was your assessment of this one today? Yeah, it was always going to be a tough ask. Um, you know, it was disappointing to lose a couple of players prior to this game. Um, it was going to be a tough game. Um, and I said to lads after the last game that we need to be a little bit tidier, we need to be more efficient and more ruthless in front of the goal if we're going to get out of anything out of this game. And, uh, and as we weren't, um, perhaps we didn't deserve anything. You missed Sam Minnie, didn't you, today? Um, yeah, I think Sam, Sam was important to us in terms of his energy and his work rate. Um, but uh, you know, for, from our perspective, we felt that there was a, the shrewdest thing to do was to rest and make sure that he's perfectly fit for next week. Having said all that, you didn't have to create some chances today. You must be slightly disappointed. You've hit the woodwork twice. Yeah, we, we had um, enough chances today to, to, to deserve something. Uh, I don't think we put, uh, the overall game we played was good enough um, to win the game. But again, it's all about taking your chances and taking out the game what you could. Um, and, and when you when you factor in the two goals, um, unfortunately Ben's distribution was pretty poor all first half. And when you're going into the last minute, what you don't want is you keep kicking the ball straight to centre midfield when when people are switching off. So thank you very much, Matthew. Yeah, sorry, Jim, just cut you off in your prime there. Um, in terms of, of the chances you created, obviously you say you're disappointed at the ones that you missed. What about the goals that you conceded from a defensive point of view? Really poor yeah, goals. Um, yeah, they were particularly poor. Um, we're going to the last minute of the first half and um, all Ben has to do is make sure that ball lands somewhere up the other end of the pitch and we box it in. Um, his distribution was pretty poor throughout the first half. He didn't really adjust to the wind and get the length right. No, they played um, Big Sefton well, but we still should be getting ourselves planted there where our midfield are facing the ball rather than chasing back. And, uh, and then that's compounded by the, uh, the, the indecision between the centre-half and the goalkeeper. Uh, even the second goal really disappointed yeah. with um, missed tackle from Mark Ross here in front of us and then they go on to get across and an unchallenged header. In terms of the opposition you faced today though, they are right up there, that's 11 home wins in a row. It was always going to be a tall order today. It's one of those days where you couldn't afford those kind of mistakes. Yeah, no, I said that to the lads and I said that this is the same at FC United, we can get away with silly challenges that lead to penals and uh, a little bit of raggedness that gives the ball away and, and allows opportunities because we've got enough about us to beat the likes of FC United and um, this is something that I'll talk about at the board meeting this week when we, we played Barrow Macclesfield pre-season, um, we played the Woking who didn't win a game away from uh, their place all season and now we played a team that was up there at that level and lost twice so I think there's a massive goal from where we are at the moment in terms of where we want to be as a conference side. But um, I think there's a lot about the group at the moment to be a very good conference north side and what we have to do is get back to that efficiency, that hard work and that um, bring the organisation and the, uh, the structure, uh, especially on our defensive shape and our, our set plays and make sure that that A game is there because that will get us into the playoffs. The other end of the pitch today, a uh, full debut for Sefton Gonzalez. How did you feel he did? I know the, the local press here were very, very impressed with him. Yeah, he caused the problem and it, it, they managed him well because they had the centre half jumping up the back of him and they had Crowsdale in front. And I didn't think we disturbed Crowsdale enough in terms of Jimmy Ball being a second outlet. We started using Jimmy a little bit more on some of the set plays in terms of throw-ins. Uh, took a bit of pressure off Sefton and some good chances came from that like they did last week. Um, but we've got a couple of players that we've given them options and they're not really selecting the right one. It's just the programme to throw to the big man down the line. Pro program, and you don't see the variation that we can do, whether that be back to the centre half, across midfield to the open. Uh, so when opposition just locks up and we just bang away at it. And um, you know, in that regard, I was really disappointed with um, uh, Mark Ross on the right um, in terms of not being able to open the game up and just pull him out of position. But um, second half, we first half we were dangerous on the counter and we should have had a goal. Uh, and perhaps even sneaked into half time one 0 up, and that's a different game in terms of how you, you play out the second half. The onus on us second half was the, to take the game to them. Um, we lacked a little bit of energy in midfield, so we made a change and put another big man on to give us two aerial outlets, get Danny Lloyd amongst the back three, uh, that being the two centre halves and Crowsdale. And we started getting up the pitch and creating chances and, and winning set plays, and uh, that should have got us a goal, should have got us back in the game, and unfortunately, um, we haven't taken the chances, taken the opportunities we have from set plays, and 
we paid the price. You started both halves very brightly, I thought, and you sent the players out very early for the start of the second half, and you made a substitution, I think, maybe 80 seconds into the half. Tell us about the timing of that. Um, well, I, I think we, did, we wanted Lewis Montrose back in the centre, and he would have been in the centre if Sam was fit. We put Courtney in there, um, and right from the kickoff, I've been really disappointed. The ball's gone down the left, ball spills inside, and Courtney's 25 yards away from Lewis instead of in a nice tight trip. So, uh, no nonsense, uh, get him off, get Lewis back into his natural position. I thought Jimmy Ball slotted in brilliantly and the right still gave us a threat going yeah. forward. But it allowed Danny Lloyd, if you like, to light around the two big guys. And um, and the full backs and the, and the side midfielders got up the pitch. Um, again, full backs were a little bit hesitant in terms of bringing us the second phase and they were only really involved with throw ins um, and, and other set plays. But, um, I was pleased enough with several several performances. I just mm. thought there was a couple that were a little bit off the pace. Maybe that's the difference between being full time and having that mental sharpness, that physical sharpness, uh, and being part time. Um, or maybe it's a quality issue. But like I said, we are what we are. And um, if we had played as well as we could have, we could have got something out of the game. If you don't, that place like this, you go home with nothing. And a tough month to come, of course, isn't it? But two home games now, you'd be pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, the games that if we bring our A game, we should win. Uh, they're going to be tough in the long rights. Um, it's, I mean, from ourselves and Charlie's point of view, we've got two full-time sides now that are pushing for the first top top two sides, uh, to first and second, Fylde and Kidderminster. And over the season, from what I've seen, they, they not deserve, but they've done enough to be in the top two. And uh, probably we'll finish there. I think Halifax and Salford have thrown a lot of money and they've, they're going to continue to be strong and they're in good form and I think the real challenge now is that, that um, fifth spot so um, I think this is where I put the challenge to the players for next week this is a game we need to win yeah. because this is the team we want to overtake and get in the playoffs and you think you'll have Sam Minahan available next week? Uh, I think it's very very likely that you will if we had risked him in a, whether it be a, a test or to see how it went in such mm. a demanding game where I mean Sam's fatigue level was at 10 out of 10 last week um, Again, it was a 10 out of 10 performance and sometimes you don't get that man of match performance without putting so much effort in. But it took us toll and then on Tuesday he felt something and um, he sat out Thursday, we thought it might be okay. But whether it's fatigue or whether it's fatigue that could lead to a strain, I think the sensible thing was to not play him. Uh, what we wouldn't have wanted to do today is to lose this game, be stretched and have players out injured. Um, at least we know we have Sam very likely to be available for next week. What's your, your thought process now? And I know you very well. I know you're going to be on that bus going home sick as a chip because you've lost today. But in the overall context of things, you must still be pleased with what you've delivered over these last few months. Yeah, because I mean, at the start of the season, we we're not pretentious. Uh, despite the lot of people think we're massive in terms of the crowds. I mean, we still go to places and we keep saying we're not that good for a full time side. So I'm kind of reminding them, well, we're not. Um, we've got lads who work during the day. They come and they work really hard for us. We're not pretentious, we are a part-time side working hard at the national law for level. Um, and we've grown and improved over the season. Players, several players have improved and it's great credit to them. The teams improved, the squad's looking strong. We need perhaps one or two more um, to deliver or to come in to, for those that are not delivering. But I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. And even beyond the next 11 games to playoffs and into next season, I think we've got some players now that are on the books for the next year, next two years that I think are really going to deliver for us. It's always good to tell you. Commiserations. Thank you. Thank you.